Hey guys, and today we're going to see how much stuff can fit into the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C. Now before I get this review rolling, I would like to thank Rick Case Fiat in Weston, Florida for allowing me to review this vehicle for you guys. If you are interested in purchasing a brand new Fiat and live in the South Florida area, don't hesitate to check them out. They will get you into the perfect Fiat in no time. And remember that all of Drive and Be Driven's reviews are 100% honest and 0% biased. So uh, let's get started. Now I did do a complete in-depth review of the 2017 Fiat 500C and the Abarth trim. So if you are interested in knowing more information about the Fiat 500 Abarth, don't hesitate to check out that full in-depth walk around review. But today we are going to see exactly how much stuff can fit into the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C. All right, so there is a total of one way to unlock the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C, as well as only one way to open up the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C. Now the Fiat 500 that we do have here is going to be the Abarth model for the Fiat 500C, which is pretty much more of that sport oriented version. So this Abarth trim is not going to decrease the overall cargo capacity at all. So if you do go for the Fiat 500C or the Fiat 500C Abarth that we have right here, your cargo capacity is going to be identical. So looking at your key fob right here like I said there is only one way to unlock the trunk and that is going to be by pushing the button all the way at the bottom of your key fob holding that down will flash your hazards indicating that the tailgate has been unlocked you walk up to the Fiat 500 Abarth under the Abarth logo and underneath the 500 numbering there will be a little rubber pad you press that it will pop the trunk open once and you push it again to open it up the rest of the way. And what you are going to be looking at right here is going to be 5.4 cubic feet of space with the rear seats folded up. And in comparison to some of its competitors, now the Fiat 500C doesn't really have many direct competitors and the Fiat 500C bar has even less direct competitors, but some of the vehicles that you may be cross shopping this vehicle with can include the Volkswagen Beetle convertible, the Mini Cooper convertible, and the Smart for Two convertible. Now the Volkswagen Beetle convertible is going to have a cargo capacity of 7.1 cubic feet of space. The Mini Cooper convertible is going to have 7.6 cubic feet of space. And the Smart for Two convertible is going to have 12.4 cubic feet of space if you stack it all the way up to the top of the ceiling. Now one thing that is going to be different on that vehicle from this vehicle is because you cannot pack it all the way to the ceiling because well it just doesn't reach all the way up to the ceiling. Right here you are going to see that there is a little bit of a cover right there so that's the highest you can pack inside of the Fiat 500C unlike some of its other competitors which do pack all the way up to the ceiling and that was the case in the Fiat 500 that I did review the cargo area of not too long ago but over here you will see that right there that is going to be the top of the trunk area for the Fiat 500C but overall the trunk is going to be a little bit on the small side when compared to its competitors like I said 5.4 cubic feet of space but let's see how it stacks up once you fold down the 50 50 split rear folding seats now to fold down the seats inside of the Fiat 500C bar is a little bit more of a process than the Fiat 500 that I did review not too long ago as well as any other vehicle. There is actually no way to fold down the trunk from the cargo area so I am going to set you guys up on a tripod behind me and I am going to show you the overall process that you have to go through.
All right, now that we have folded down the rear seats inside of the 2017 Fiat 500C, you are going to be looking at 23.4 cubic feet of space. Now, in comparison to some of its competitors that I did mention earlier, well, it's not really a way to compare them because a lot of its competitors do not specify their overall cargo number rating once you fold down the rear seats. So if you are looking at the Mini Cooper convertible, the Volkswagen Beetle convertible, and the Smart for Two convertible, those vehicles are not necessarily going to specify the overall cargo volume that you will be seeing with the rear seats folded down but overall I would expect this vehicle to be very class competitive now technically this is how I like to put it this vehicle can be used as a two-seater and have technically a cargo area the size of a subcompact crossover such as the Honda HRV with 24.3 cubic feet of space and the main reason for that is because you can have these rear seats folded down and inside of the Honda HRV the rear seats folded up and it will be very similar in overall cargo carrying capabilities Obviously, you will have a smaller trunk opening here, but overall, the interior volume will be very, very similar. So that is definitely something to keep in mind if you are planning on only hauling around two people. Also, another thing I did want to mention is that this vehicle is going to be quite a drop from what's found on the original Fiat 500, the traditional Fiat 500 that I did review for you guys not too long ago of the trunk. That vehicle is going to have a slightly larger trunk at 30.2 cubic feet of space. This vehicle is going to have, like I said, 23.4 cubic feet of space so it is going to be a drop of just about seven cubic feet but now let's see how a pool noodle fits widthwise as well as lengthwise inside of the trunk of the 2017 fiat 500 c abarth all right so now let's see how a pool noodle with a 5.3 foot long length fits widthwise inside of the trunk of the 2017 fiat 500 c so let's put it in all the way into that little nook that fiat does provide for this vehicle you just Put it right on inside of there and let's see how this fits all the way laying down and you will see that the pool noodle is going to protrude out of the trunk itself and will not necessarily fit all the way width wise but it is still going to get a couple of points for that but it is not going to get its full rating since it did not fit completely with ease all right so now let's see how this pool noodle fits lengthwise now i do have both the front driver and the front passenger seats adjusted to my comfort so let's see how this pool noodle fits and you are going to see that the pool noodle is going to protrude out of the cargo area just a little bit right here. So it is probably going to lose one point for that. All right, so now let's see how a 22 inch suitcase fits inside of the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C. All right, so now let's see how a 22 inch suitcase fits inside of the trunk here. And let's first see how it fits lengthwise. And lengthwise, the suitcase is not necessarily going to even fit inside of the trunk it is going to be very difficult and we are going to try to put it in lengthwise and well the suitcase does not fit and you can assume the same thing for height wise because well the suitcase is practically jammed inside of there so if you are considering to pretty much be hauling a 22 inch suitcase in the back of your fiat 500c the best way to do that will be to pretty much pull it out because it is sort of getting jammed in there slide it in this way horizontally and rest it back and you can fit just about one of those suitcases inside of here with a few, little bit more space to maybe put a duffel bag inside of here or something like that but overall the Fiat 500 C's trunk if you are trying to put a 22 inch suitcase is not going to necessarily work that well also I am noticing that the Fiat 500 C doesn't come with any trunk lights well actually it comes with one trunk light right over here I would have liked to have seen two because it is pretty dark inside of this cargo area I mean, we are out here during the daylight and it is very very dark inside of here so I'd imagine at nighttime it would be even darker but Fiat does give you one incandescent bulb inside of here very similar to what's found on the Fiat 500 and over here you will also see that you do have an amplifier right there inside of the Fiat 500 C as well and underneath the cargo load floor you actually do not have a spare tire Fiat actually reserves that for actually no trims the, in order to get a spare tire you probably have to get it through a dealer accessory or aftermarket and you can put that underneath the vehicle but not underneath this floor because this floor does not necessarily lift up and allow for any storage under there so you are not going to have any fix a flat kit or spare tire instead of the trunk of the 2017 fiat 500 c all right so now let's see how many laundry baskets with an 11 inch height and a 17 inch diameter fit inside of the trunk with the rear seats folded up so let's put in our first one here one and two and the trunk opening is actually pretty small here my laundry baskets literally just fit height wise so i would imagine the overall trunk opening inside of this vehicle is probably around 11 to 12 feet so that's definitely something to keep in mind but 
you can only fit a total of two laundry baskets inside of here and the fiat 500 hatchback i was able to fit a total of three laundry baskets but inside of this fiat 500c we can only fit a total of two laundry baskets and that is mainly going to be because that fiat 500 hatchback is going to have 9.5 cubic feet of space with the rear seats folded up while this fiat 500c is going to see quite a bit of a decrease to 5.4 cubic feet of space and all of that extra space would have been on this upper portion that would have opened up so overall you don't really necessarily have that much of a difference in overall cargo space if you really think about it because who actually stacks things all the way up to the top of the window technically they are going to be very very similar but unfortunately you do not have that much height with the cargo area of the 2017 Fiat 500C. All right, so let's fold back down those rear seats and see exactly how much stuff or how many baskets you can fit on the surface of the cargo area with those rear seats folded down. All right, and we might as well fold down the top on this 2017 Fiat 500C, a bar. All right, so now let's see how many laundry baskets fit with the rear seats folded down. So I have both rear seats folded down. And I also have the top open so you guys can get a little bit more of that cabriolet feel when I'm reviewing this vehicle. But one thing I did want to show you is that when you open up the trunk of the Fiat 500C with the convertible top all the way down in its lowest position, it will actually raise up the top just a little bit to enable the trunk to be able to open. So I'm going to press right underneath the 500 numbering and watch what happens. So it is going to sort of have like a power assist it is going to power up that rear window so it comes back up so you can open up the trunk of the Fiat 500C. All right, so let's see how many of these laundry baskets can fit inside of the trunk here. So we have one, two, three, Four and five. So it looks like we can fit a total of five laundry baskets inside of the trunk of the 2017 Fiat 500C. And I don't want any lips overlapping here at all. And for the most part, no lips are overlapping. So this is going to be the same exact cargo rating that you are going to get inside of the 2017 Fiat 500 hatchback. The overall cargo rating isn't going to be similar, but the overall basket rating that I am going to give it is going to be similar since the surface area is the same. The only difference is going to be the overall height that you can stack these baskets up to. And I also wanted to mention that the lift gate on the 2017 Fiat 500C is also fairly light, but Fiat does not give you any helper handle to help close the cargo area of this lift gate. But overall, you just grab right here on the fairly hot paints. It is pretty hot outside and close it right on up. Well, that's it for this cargo review. Comment and tell me what you would like to see in future videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This is Marcus, and thanks for watching Drive and Be Driven. Keep it positive, and I'll see you next time. You can become a Drive and Be Driven driver today. Just simply click the subscribe button, and you'll become a part of the Drive and Be Driven circle. Subscribing will allow you to stay up to date with the Drive and Be Driven YouTube channel. Thank you to all of my current Drive and Be Driven drivers for driving me towards my goals and dreams. Stay subscribed for more awesome videos like this one.